Welcome to today's LSPD FR Car Bicycle Rack Plug-in Tutorial. Whether you're looking to add some eco-friendly mobility to your patrols or just eager to explore new ways to serve and protect, you're in for a treat. Today, we're strapping on our helmets, loading up our cruisers, and hitting the road with this innovative plug-in. Get ready to pedal through the streets in style as we unlock the full potential of your patrol vehicle. So, let's saddle up and embark on this exciting journey together. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. And thank you in advance for sharing this video. Please help me reach a thousand subscribers. Let's go! For installing this mod, first go to the LSPDFR site to download it. The link is in the description. A big shout out to Faya for creating this plugin. After downloading, open your Grand Theft Auto folder and simply drag and drop all the content of the Car Bicycle Rack folder. Next, let's go to the key settings. Open the GTA folder, Plugins, and open the Car Bicycle Rack.ini. Then change the keys you want to change. Then, don't forget to save. Now launch your game. See you there. Tips, if you ever experience a crash, just restart your PC. And make sure you loaded the plugin in your LSPDFR. Now we're about to uncover a plethora of exciting features designed to revolutionize your patrol experience using the Car Bicycle Rack plugin. The first feature of this plugin is spawning and storing using the menu of this plugin. Spawn and store your bicycles instantly, streamlining your workflow and maximizing efficiency during patrols. The second feature of this plugin is bicycle positioning. And if you wonder why I have a different kind of scorcher, I've already installed or replaced this bicycle. The third feature of this plugin is custom presets. After positioning your bicycle, you can save it as a new custom preset for a specified vehicle. The next one is blips for car and bicycle so you don't lose them. The last one is manual retrieval. After using your bicycle, you can manually return it to the rack or back of your vehicle. That's awesome, right? Thank you for tuning in to watch my tutorial video on the LSPD FR plugin. I truly appreciate your time and interest in learning more about this exciting addition to your gaming experience. I hope the information provided has equipped you with valuable insights and tips to enhance your gameplay and enjoyment as a virtual law enforcement officer. Your support and engagement drive me to continue creating content that educates and entertains. If you have any questions or suggestions for future tutorials, please feel free to reach out. Once again, thank you for being a part of this community, and I look forward to sharing more content with you soon.